Now the controller gain has value and also it has got its sign. Now in commercial PID applications and also in Loop Pro, you see that it really doesn't ask you for the sign of the controller gain. Meaning you just, if it's KC, you got to be suppose negative 12, it, you input the value as 12 and then you mention whether it's direct acting or reverse acting. Now what is direct acting and what is reverse acting controller? Now you can think about when driving a car, if you have the speed limit to be, your desired speed limit is here and somehow your speed limit go, speed goes beyond this value. Now you look at this case that this is your variable and this is your desired value meaning this is your set point and this is the value of the measured variable, the value of the output. Now error is defined as y set point minus y meaning that when the output goes beyond the set point this error is really negative because that's y set point minus y so it's negative. Now think about you're driving a car so speed goes beyond the set point value. Now think about this two control mechanism you have for a car. You want to maintain the speed by manipulating the brake or the fuel flow. Now for the if you're using the brake error becomes negative you take more control action meaning you need to push the brake harder. That's what is called this direct acting. So do remember that when you're driving a car this maintaining the speed by brake that's direct acting. Now think about if you want to maintain the speed by manipulating the fuel flow. In that case when the speed goes beyond the desired value you need to reduce the fuel flow. Okay, You need to reduce the fuel flow and that's reverse acting. So do remember this for the case of driving a car. Now look at these two scenarios. If you take that tank example and you want to maintain the level of liquid in the tank. In that case you can maintain the level by manipulating the either the inlet flow or manipulating the outlet flow. Now when you are manipulating the inlet flow, suppose the desired value is here, so that's your y set point and output goes there. Again, this is the piece of error to be negative. Okay. Now we make an assumption that these valves are what is called this air to open valve. Okay, meaning to open the valve you need instrument air and more the air pressure more the valve opening and the more the control action more the valve opening. Okay. So in that case when the error is negative meaning that the your desired value is something here and now the current value is something there. So what do you need to do? You need to close this valve. For this case, if the desired value is lower than the current value, meaning that error is negative, you need to close this valve. Okay. Now, here for this valve again, you have to open valve, meaning that more the control action, more the valve opening. So, to close the valve, you need to reduce the control action. Now, look at the equation for this control action ut equal u bias plus k c e t. Now here the error is negative and if we need to reduce the control action meaning that this term should be negative because you have to reduce whatever the value was there and to reduce the control action. Okay. Now in that case, so if you have this to be negative, this should be positive. Okay. Now for this case, you are having here if the output goes beyond the set value, you need to 
reduce the control action that what is called this reverse acting now also we are seeing here for reverse acting the kc should be positive okay so reverse acting means kc greater than zero now think about this case and compare it with the other case here for this case if the desired value is here and the current value is there so again e error is negative the current value exceeded the desired value so in that case what you need to do you need to open the valve more again considering that's an air to open valve you need to increase the control action meaning you need to open the valve more to drain more water so that the level comes back to the desired value so you have the error to be negative meaning that current value exceeded the desired value and you need to open the valve more meaning more control action so this is what is called this direct acting so this case this application is what is called this direct acting now go back to the equation for control action ut equals u bias plus kc et so if this is negative and this enter term needs to be positive then kc should be negative because you need to open the bulk more so we need to add something with u bias so that you have the if this is negative you have to this to be negative to make the enter term be positive so for direct acting the kc so kc should be less than zero now for these two cases again we have looked at that kc greater than zero means it's reverse acting kc less than zero is direct acting now what's the relation between kc and kp and what's the relation between this kp and this direct acting and reverse acting controller now think about for this case what would be the sign of the mod gain of the model between level and this inlet flow if you derive the model between this level and this inlet flow you see that the gain of the process if you write it at kp that's also greater than zero meaning that's also positive now if you find the relation between this level and the outlet flow here if this outlet flow increases the level decreases meaning that for this case if you like the for the process gain to be negative so in summary what you have if the process gain is positive that's the reverse acting and also kc is positive for this case when the process gain is negative that's the direct acting also kc is negative for this case because you see that kc and kp should be the same sign for the controller to act properly so in summary when you are defining the reverse and direct acting controller you need to consider the sign of the kc or the sign of the kp so if we have this kc to be less than zero so that's what is direct acting when kc is greater than zero that's reverse acting and also the same thing when kp is greater than zero that's when the kc is greater than zero so kp is greater than zero means reverse acting and kp less than zero is direct acting so in summary the reverse acting controller refers to control system where the input needs to be decreased when the output increases beyond the set point and the direct acting controller refers to control system where the input needs to be increased when the output increases beyond the set point and for reverse acting kc is greater than zero for the direct acting the kc is less than zero meaning negative